Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog episode 2. Uh, as promised, I told you guys that we were going to be doing a game room tour, um, so I wanted to give that to you. First, uh, since this whole YouTube uh, demonetization debacle that's been going on, I've made some new friends as a result. Um, one of those friends uh, goes by the name T-Rex Space Station. Uh, his real name is Ben, very nice fellow that I met, you should check out his channel. T-Rex Space Station, he does all sorts of awesome videos. He's a multi-instrumentalist, he plays guitar, bass, so he does cover songs, he does like history videos, uh, retrospectives, let's plays, all kinds of stuff, so check him out. Um, but recently, Ben challenged me to 1cc Fireshark, a Genesis version of the arcade game. Um, so I'm accepting his challenge. I'm gonna do it on hard, um, I've already started practicing, uh, the game is tough. Uh, I'm not sure how tough it is compared to the arcade, its arcade counterpart, but man, I'm telling you, it's still pretty tough. The reason he asked me to do it was that he wants to basically cover the entire soundtrack of the game, but he wants to do it with the game playing in the background. So he needs an entire run of the game, a 1cc run uninterrupted, and then he's going to play uh, guitar and bass and everything, play the music of the game. Uh, as the footage is rolling, which I think is really freaking cool. Um, that's a really cool idea, so I was like, Ben, I'm in, man. Might take me a while to get that run, but I'm in for sure. Next, I've been talking about this for years. I think there's even two other update videos where I've talked about this game <laughs> from years ago, and that is Forgotten Worlds. It's gonna happen this year. My brother and I recorded a two-player 1cc run back in, actually, mid-2014. And I, I've been sitting on the run for almost four years now. I think it was July of 2014 we recorded this run together. Uh, we did it in like, I think we took us three attempts maybe. It's not, not that tough of a game in all honesty. But then again, we've been playing it since we were kids, so we're very familiar with it. But I'm going to do a video on all the ports the game received, which is a ridiculous amount. The amount of ports in this game is just it's pure insanity. So I'm going to basically cover that aspect of the game, um, all the different ports, and then I'm going to do, and then at the end I'll have the 1cc run of uh, my brother and I playing through it with, with commentary. So we're going to be recording that commentary pretty soon. And lastly, uh, an update on the Gradius 2 run. All our runs are complete. Myself, uh, Adam the Bug, bug Doctor, uh, Brazel the Gamer, Tony Brazel, and the Various Wes. All four of us have capped our 1cc runs of Gradius 2 on uh, Famicom NES and uh, we record our commentary. I have edited the four runs together and synced them up, and then I'm gonna be working on the overlay and uh, an intro and a couple other surprises that will be going into this video, so it's, it's awesome. It's like chaos, but really fun to watch. Uh, we had a really fun time recording it and watching each other uh, and our different strategies and different ways we played the game, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. And so that's it for the updates. As far as my game room goes, honestly, I'm not one of those crazy guys with uh, 10 bazillion games all over his walls everywhere. I got basically two shelves um, of games, and I have a entertainment stand uh, that I got at Ikea that people seem to keep noticing when I, when I send pictures of. They're like, hey, that's from Ikea. So I've got that, uh, and I'll show you that and how everything's hooked up, all my systems are hooked up, and I'll take you on a tour of the game room. So let's get going. All right. Here's my game shelf, uh, nothing too special here, just your typical, you know, YouTube game shelf, maybe a little smaller than most. <laughs> but we will start with uh, some Genesis games down here, and a couple of Turbo Graphics games. Don't have many Turbo Graphics games, but you can see Blazing Lasers there, um, and I believe that's Image Fight on the bottom. Uh, and Genesis, uh, ooh, look, Shaq Fu, yummy. <laughs> see some shmups there, piled up, Viewpoint is a really good game. Uh, yeah, Afterburner, Alex Kidd, Fantasia, Brutal Paws of Fury, Beast Wrestler. What a great name, the Beast Wrestler. Yeah, so that's the first part of the Genesis games there. Next, we've got some uh, complete inbox Genesis games, uh, Coffee Crisis. <laughs> yeah, I backed that, unfortunately. Um, Dick Tracy, one of my favorite Genesis games of all time. Uh, yeah, Sonic 2. Some other ones. That's Sacred Line. That's a watermelon release. That's a new game that came out a couple years ago. And 
I'm gonna go up to the top here uh, with the rest of my uh, worthy looking Genesis games. And this is like a cassette shelf that I managed to get at a thrift store, and it fits Genesis games perfectly, as you can see. Um, Tasmania games, a uh, big fan of those, the first one particularly. Back to Man of Force, Revenge of Shinobi, awesome. All three Shinobi games there. Uh, Thunder Force, oh, Thunder Force 2 is missing. Hmm, where could it be? It is somewhere. Street to Rage, Sonic, yeah, Big Betrayal, got up some shmups there. Echo the Dolphin, of course. Forgotten Worlds, which you'll see a video of coming up, of course, that I talked about. Whiprush, <gasps> Musha. That's a real copy. Um, there was still Gemmeral up there. Strider, Returns, Alien, Alien 3 is a fun game if you haven't played that. That's pretty cool. Uh, Shadow Blasters is good too, a good early Genesis game. Lemmings, great one. Outlander is kind of a weird, strange game. All right, next we move on to my NES games. Uh, this is the majority of them right here. Guardian Legend, of course. Um, oh, there's also some Game Boy, a Virtual Boy game, but some Game Boy shmups. Uh, those are all shmups, pretty much. Gradius 2, Famicom, there's the Guardian Legend. Beautiful full in-box copy, one of the few I have. Uh, some garbage NES games, although the Rocketeer is okay. Star Tropics, of course. Dr. Mario, Kung Fu, Joust. Awesome Joust. There's Legendary Wings, all six Mega Mans. Metroid, one of my favorite games of all time. Um, Sorry, there's a little glare there. Uh, a couple other garbage games there. And then Solar Jetman is a fantastic game. Batman, Zelda, Jaws. Sexus is awesome. That's another hybrid shmup. Um, Cobra Triangle is pretty cool. Rygar, yeah. A bunch of interesting ones in there. Next, we're moving on to Super Nintendo. Kind of pathetic collection. Not too much, uh, but you know, you can see some games in there. Secret of Mana 1 and 2. 2 is a repro, obviously. Um, you know, Lost Vikings, Hyperzone, Choplifter, there's a couple shmups in there, there's R-Type 3, that's an expensive one, Strike Gunner, here's some Famicom games, uh, Super Famicom, Front Mission, uh, Front uh, RPM Racing, great game, uh, Front Mission 2, uh, Act Razor, Darius Twin, which I covered in a, another video, um, here's a couple of NES games, also shmups, this is a pile of shmups I've been meaning to get to that's on top of my entertainment stand, as you can see, um, gonna get to them eventually. Some I've played, some I haven't, but all a bunch of mostly common NES shmups that I'm gonna get to. And next we're moving on to this handheld Gradius game that I've had as a kid. Really my first experience with Gradius right there. Pretty cool little game. Uh, we've got some Atari 2600 games. I don't have it set up. I don't really care. Um, they're just kind of there. My uncle gets them for me at the flea market. Uh, hey, some DOS games. Sim Life, Doom. My only two DOS games I got left. Uh, game Boy Advance, Metroid Fusion, Here's some newer stuff, well, sorta. PlayStation 3, original Xbox, Wii, yeah, just my little collection of those, the ones that I've kept anyway. Um, a couple more Genesis inbox games. This is in my closet, by the way. I have a closet with more uh, games in it. Um, my run and only Sega CD game, Pitfall. Some Game Gear games, Tasmania, Sonic 2, another Echo the Dolphin for Game Gear, uh, 32X, Star Wars Arcade. Next, we have my uh, drawers here at the bottom of my closet, uh, which is all my peripherals, GameCube controllers there, here's my NES stuff, um, the Zapper, some extra controllers, here's my Genesis stash here, I got a bunch of Genesis stuff, uh, as you'll see, I got a 32X down here, whole bunch of uh, controllers, three button and six button, um, I got a uh, the arcade stick down here, which I don't use often, as you can see it's in the bottom of my closet, but it's there, the arcade power stick. Here's my console graveyard, and uh, as you can see I have quite a few. I got an Atari there, multiple SNES's, Nintendo 64, lots of Model 1 Genesis uh, consoles, a Sega CD, PlayStation 3, which doesn't work. Man. And here's my entertainment stand. Uh, still some empty spots there for more consoles. My GameCube with Game Boy Advance as a player. Uh, there's my uh, Turbo Duo, uh, modded for RGB. And next we have my uh, SNES and NES, Model 2 and Mini. Uh, both modded for RGB. Then we have, of course, my wonderful Genesis modded for RGB. I apologize for all the cat hair. I have cats, and it gets everywhere. And uh, good lord, that's a lot. Um, my PS4 Pro, uh, which I love dearly. Um, here's some of my PS4 games. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I love it. Fantastic. And then we have my wonderful Frame Meister, which is there. <laughs> Beautiful. We have my Bandridge SCART switcher, as you can see, uh, Genesis, Nintendo, 
SNES and Turbo Duo can all be switched seamlessly, which I'm about to demonstrate here. And we will start here with the Genesis and Hellfire. Um, Hellfire is a uh, shmup that a lot of people have been asking me to cover for a while. Um, I will at some point. Uh, I don't know if I'll get to it this year, but I'm going to try. Um, as you can see, I'm panning down here so you can see all the consoles are on. Um, at least I'm going to demonstrate four of them. Um, so I can just reach over to that switch over there and I can switch between them seamlessly. And as you can see, Hellfire is playing. Um, it's a pretty cool shmup. Uh, Kind of a unique weapon system that I that I enjoy. And we're going to switch here, as you can see, to NES and Rekka. Rekka, uh, also known as Summer Carnival 92, uh, was a game released for a competition, I believe, in 1992 that attempted to push the NES to its absolute limits. Uh, the game is insane. There's a lot going on. Uh, and like almost no flicker and no slowdown, um, they managed to pull it off. Uh, a little bit of flicker, but like no slowdown at all. The game's amazing. Uh, it's a really frantic, kind of fast-paced, crazy shooter. Um, I got a repro card of it. Uh, an actual card goes for God knows how much money. But yeah, that's Rekka. Um, now we'll switch over to Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. We Super Nintendo. We have Axley. Another great. Uh, SNES game. I uh, just got it recently, actually. Um, I haven't had a chance to put much time into it, but here it is, showing it off for you. And you can see how clear the RGB signal is. I mean, I'm filming this with my camera, and you can see, just looking on it, this is real hardware. This is not an emu emulation, not a Raspberry Pi, anything like that. This is FrameMeister uh, real hardware. Um, and look at it, this looks amazing. Um, last but not least, we're switching to the uh, Turbo Duo and Blazing Lasers. Yep, so there's Blazing Lasers. And uh, another game I haven't uh, had uh, time to put much uh, time into. I plan on it this year, hopefully. Uh, I joked on Twitter that I didn't even turn on my Turbo Duo until recently for the first time. So, But as you can see, modern for RGB, and it's beautiful. And there you have it. All right, everyone, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the game room tour. Uh, like I said, nothing too special, but you know, it is my collection, and uh, I enjoyed, you know, letting you all see it and my setup and all that stuff. So that's about it for now. Expect another video before too long, a week or two, maybe sooner. We'll see. And that's it. Shmup Master signing off. <laughs>